What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We have two new stories and two questions for you. So let's dive right in. Our first story of the day has to do with Google Wallet and digital driver's license. The information that's coming out right now from Droid Life is that Google Wallet is about to get digital driver's licenses in beta. They know about this because of a change log that was posted to the Google system updates support page. And it goes on to say that the beta feature to allow users from selected US states to digitize their state ID and driver's license into the Google wallet for convenient, private and secure presentation. What does that mean? It means that you'll be able to go into your Google wallet on your phone and pull up your driver's license potentially and you use it as some kind of identification to get yourself into a club or you know if someone just needs to see your license you could show it on your phone now with apple phones because i looked it up it's like three states two or three states that allow you to do it out of 50 here in america california which i live is not one of them so a little bit disappointing but keep your eyes peeled on this one as this kind kind of comes out more and more i'll let you guys know but it seemingly is right around the corner for at least the ones that allow it, the states that allow digital licenses to be able to do it in your Google wallet. And our last story of the day, as you can see from this right here, I saw this on Reddit and it said, disable RAM plus for better battery backup. Kind of a weird title, battery backup. It sounds like he's backing up his battery, but when you read it, it's not gonna lie, disabling RAM plus indeed boost battery without much, perhaps not even a bit hit in the performance or whatsoever. And he put edit, those mates who are asking for proof, well, just try it, guys. No harm in trying it, right? What if I? What if it works? My S21 never hit screen on time of seven hours plus, but after disabling RAM Plus, it was able to. So basically what he's saying is that, and you can only do this if you have One UI 5, but basically if you go into, let me bring it up here real quick. If you go into your settings on your phone, and then you go down into battery and device care, go into memory, and towards the bottom, you're gonna see RAM Plus. You have an on-off switch, and if you, you know, if you have it on, you can put two, four, six, or eight gigs more of virtual memory. This is supposed to help with kind of caching more apps in the background so that they stay in a frozen state, and then when you open it back up, they'll be right where you left off instead of having to restart the app, and potentially, I guess, give you better performance. But he's saying that he turns it off, and he's getting better battery life. I'll admit, I've had mine off for a while. I did a video I don't know, a month or two ago, about turning it off and getting that storage back if you were low on storage, because it does eat up your internal storage, the virtual RAM. And I personally am not seeing like, whoa, this battery life is amazing. So, I mean, it's not like, it's not worse from what it was before, but I haven't really noticed anything big leaps and gains in it. He's saying he has, but I mean, it's just, I guess it's food for thought, if anything, that, you know, if you don't need it, when it's off, when it's on, I should say, you don't notice any difference between it being on and off, then turn it off, get the storage back, and potentially get some more battery life out of it. Let me know if you guys have noticed, you that you people that have One UI 5, by turning it off, have you still noticed that you're getting better battery life? Or by turning it on, have you noticed you've gotten the opposite, gotten worse battery life? Let us know in the comments down below below. Thanks for watching, but let's get into the Q&A portion of this video. First question comes from Matthew Gill, 8586. When will the dual fold or rollable phone come out from Samsung? That's a great question because we haven't heard a lot about it in the last, I'd probably say few months. And then you're, you're obviously not this year, this year's almost over. So 2022 is a no. 2023, I guess you could say maybe we'll see something from some huge manufacturer. Um, from Samsung, I want to say yes, but I'm going to say no because we haven't really heard much about it. So I'm guessing it's probably going to be 2024 at the earliest that we'll see a rollable uh, or even a dual fold of some sort. Now, if we do see a dual fold or a rolling, I would assume it's probably going to end up being like a tablet or some kind of laptop first from them. And our last question comes from RS Tizzle 11 question. How often do you use your iPhone 14 Pro Max? Uh, I just, I, I purposely do that. I don't use it that much, honestly. Uh, when I, I use it, as, I use it, it's a secondary phone for sure. Um, I do use it to capture B-roll or sometimes A-roll, uh, talking head points. Like when I'm outside, sometimes I'll use this um, or I'll use one of my Android phones. It kind of just depends on what I grab. 
Um, that's mostly what I use it for as a as more like a backup camera or, or a main camera if I'm outside shooting something. Uh, and, and as a backup phone, if we go on some, if we go somewhere, uh, but generally I bring my Pixel phone and my Galaxy phone. Those are the phones I probably have on me the most, uh, for the most part. Thanks for watching. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the hashtag question, and we'll try to get to it in the next video. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.